Were you given the script and then given the way your character was or should be portrayed? No, 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 no. I was, I was offered a role mm. with a thumbnail sketch of the character, and I think I'm I'm quoting it correctly. In mm. was first described as a sadistic bulldike screw, corrupt sadistic bulldike <laughs> screw, and I thought, well. A bit of a departure for this gentlewoman, <laughs> mother of one. Um, but then, after all, my profession is acting, and acting is what it's all about. And so I, I accepted it readily because I had not had um, a long-running part in a series, and I felt I was ready for television. I'd made my mark in the theatre, and I thought, well, perhaps now this is my chance. This is perhaps this is my time. And uh, so I accepted it. I, I did it to the best of my ability with um, cooperation and, and uh, consultation with writers over the period. We managed to show Joan as, as a fairly um, three-dimensional mm. sort of a person um, with real feeling and real concerns. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I mean, nobody is as black as she perhaps might have been portrayed. Uh, even for somebody so devoted to the prison system, there had to be a life outside. Mm. Otherwise, uh, it would have been deadly dull to play and even more deadly dull to look at. Mm. So uh, I was very happy to have been able to bring some compassion in there, like scenes with, with her father, with the boy, with, uh, and even with the girlfriend. Uh, I mean, I took a hell of a risk um, wanting um, an affair for Joan and uh, took a bit of talking to get it but I mm -hmm. just felt that to, to be realistic about it we had to do it. I, I wasn't entirely thrilled with the way it was written or the way it turned out but but then it could have been worse. It um, was guarded very closely. I, mm -hmm. I didn't want to present um, a caricature of a lesbian relationship. Mm. I just felt that there should have been some, the usual hurts, the usual, I mean, uh, uh, there was a peculiarity with the dialogue when I first got it that I, I had to change. I, I felt that the language between two women mm. having an affair would be no different than the language that I was used to between a man and a mm. woman. And I'm sure the language is no different between two men, if, if two people care for each mm. other. Um, the language of, of love and affection and of caring is surely the same. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, there were a few dicey moments where I think perhaps the writers were a little embarrassed, but then they were male writers. Oh. And, uh, but a little consultation, a little mm -hmm. changing here and there, a few blue pencils through the script from time <laughs> to time, and I think we got a reasonably accurate um, picture of, uh, of Joan and whatever the woman's name was, Terry or whatever uh -huh. the character's name was and um, I just wanted it to, uh, I didn't want to sensationalise a lesbian love affair, mm. I wanted to show that this woman could be loving and caring mm -hmm. and uh, as they had already established her as a lesbian mm. then of course it had to be uh, another woman. They did try to uh, change Joan later on in the piece with a chap. You may not have seen any of this in England. Um, a golfing mate, you know. Um, I had to put my foot down there. Uh -huh. I, I, I couldn't go ahead with that conversion. I just felt it would be a total, a total sellout. Uh -huh. And uh, so we, we didn't do that. So how long was the lesbian relationship in the program for? You've not seen it yet over no, there? I seen that. Oh, I see. Oh, only a few weeks, you uh -huh. know, in terms of, of episodes. Uh -huh. um, not very long, but long enough to establish Joan's awkwardness, her reticence, her, her um, lack of experience, mm. and um, and the hurt that came with a breakup, with a breakdown, uh -huh. you know, a, a breakup in, in the relationship. And, uh, and of course, whenever anything happened to Joan in her private life, she just went back to the prison 
to wreak more vengeance mm -hmm. on people, you know, that she closed up more and, uh, and, and to certainly took it out on, uh, on the prisoners, took her pain uh -huh. out on, on them. Mm. Yeah. I was so good, well that's something in store for you then. You haven't seen that yet. I think she's just coming into it now, Terry. Uh -huh, from what I've, uh -huh. somebody sent me anyway. I see. Oh, well. So yeah, I thought it might project. have been longer than the two weeks. And I thought... Oh, it's a, it's a couple of... It might have been a month or so. I, I, I can't remember. But with the writers, it, was it the same writers for like a month at a time? Or no, 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 no. Each, each week it was different writers. You know, they sort of took turnabout. <coughs> Originally there were women writers as well, though. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And they frequently were. Mm. They frequently were. I understand in the early part of it there was a, a terrific writer by the name of Denise Morgan, but mm. I didn't have the pleasure of uh. working on any of her scripts. Mm -hmm. That was in the early days. Oh, okay. Were you happy with your character's development? Oh, yes. Yes. Um, I had reservations from time to time, which we've just Mm. touched on really um, but that, there was nothing that couldn't be resolved with consultation with the producer mm -hmm. and the uh, and, and the storyliners you know I mean we I, I had a very um, very amicable relationship with mm -hmm. Grundy's and with the the writers and storyliners and whatever producer we might have had at the time mm -hmm. and um, we could always work something out, you know, if something mm. displeased me um, mm. or I didn't feel comfortable with mm. it uh, or I didn't feel true to the character mm -hmm. about we we would speak about it and uh, work around it and perhaps find an alternative, you know. I mean there was a moment there where they wanted me to take a ballroom dancing to look for company and I said no, no I do draw the line at this I draw the line, this is a woman who shuns body contact for God's sake so uh, I suggested that she, they have her take up golf. Uh -huh. I thought that was a much more, you know, something that she could do on her own, mm. but then perhaps meet people at mm. a, a golf club, you know. So mm -hmm. that was the way we developed that one. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. I read somewhere that Wayne Jarrett passed away. You, you worked with him? Yes, unhappily, yes. Yes, uh, unhappily he passed away, yeah. but happily I did have a little time working with him. Uh, towards the end of his stay in the show, mm -hmm. um, Wayne was a colleague from other other areas too. You know, and I knew him from theatre work, and uh -huh. that was very sad. Yeah, far too young. Okay. And finally, do you keep in touch with any cast members from the program? Not very much. Not very much. I. I've had uh, fairly close contact with Paula Duncan and her husband and family. Mm -hmm. Elspeth Ballantyne is probably one of my dearest friends. Mm -hmm. And, um, and the others, it, it just sort of comes and goes socially from time to time. Mm -hmm. A lot of them were friends before the show. Mm -hmm. uh, and in particular, the ones who were friends before um, still are. Um, sometimes I get to work with them again. Um, no, I... Only a few, only, only a few of them, Main, mainly Elspeth. She would be my, one of my closest friends, yeah. One more thing, Maggie. Um, I was wondering, is there anything in the program that you would like to have seen in that wasn't included? Um, something like an AIDS topic or something, or was that too oh, early? Oh, it was too program? early. It was too early. Yeah, yeah, even in terms of... Uh, any uh, junkie inmates. Yeah. It was it was too early in the, in the program. It was just just towards the end of the program. The the impact and the the, the the horror and the whole mystery of it was unwinding, you know. And of course, since then, it's um, it's much much more known. Much is more no more not more is known about it. Still, unhappily, not enough. So we didn't deal with it. No. That sounds fine, Ray. All right. Yeah, that's Thank really you. good. Thanks very much, Maggie. And lots of love to all my chums in England.